In 2019, the residents of Fort Worth, Texas fought back against an unwelcome invasion of their community. A few years ago, we noticed that dollar stores had really just started popping up in close proximity to each other all across East Fort Worth and Southeast Fort Worth. We discovered that west of Interstate 35, there's probably only maybe 30 dollar type stores. And then east and southeast of Interstate 35, there are almost a hundred dollar type stores. And they are in close proximity to each other where they may be half a mile apart, no more than a mile apart. East and Southeast Fort Worth is a majority minority uh, section of the city. Economics, very diverse. Racially, very diverse. Ethnically, very diverse. And when you look at the sheer size of the city of Fort Worth, one entire side of town is purposely being left out of that economic advantage. Printing on the economically disadvantaged is a part of Dollar General's business model. Chief Executive Todd Vaso said in 2017, the economy is continuing to create more of our core customer. And he recently admitted, I would tell you we do very good in good times and we do fabulous in, in bad times. And the problem goes far beyond Fort Worth, Texas. There are over $30,000 stores in America. To put that into context, there are 4.6 times as many dollar stores in America as Walmarts and Targets combined. Dollar stores often proliferate in lower income, majority minority neighborhoods and bring a wide range of problems with them. An investigation by ProPublica and The New Yorker concluded that dollar stores are magnets for crime and a cause of food deserts and economic distress. So you see in this area, it's pretty much like a food drought. I mean, there's nothing around here, but when you bring a dollar store, it's not even healthy at all. It's just something quick fix. And so with this coming in the neighborhood, it just kind of, to me, it just brings the value of a neighborhood down and they call it crime. Since 2016, six Dollar General employees have been killed in armed robberies. The robbery happened at the Dollar General on Bluff Road. Officers say the man in black pants pointed a rifle at the cashier and demanded money. He showed a gun to the cashier and demanded cigarettes and money. In 2019, the citizens of Fort Worth fought back. First, they protested the opening of new dollar stores, and eventually the city council took legislative action. They passed an ordinance aimed at limiting the scope of future dollar stores in the city. So our ordinance, the City of Fort Worth Dollar Type Store Ordinance says a dollar type store can't be within two miles of another store. And it also says that at least 15% of the square footage of the store has to be dedicated to fresh fruits and vegetables. I think now we're on the other side of that process where you're not seeing a dollar store pop up, you know, every other month. So it's given some freedom to the grocery stores to actually look back in the area and think about, you know, relocating here. Though Fort Worth has had some success with their ordinance, nationwide the dollar store invasion shows no signs of slowing down. Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, and Dollar General will open a combined 1,600 new locations this year alone. Gray hopes that the Fort Worth Ordinance can be replicated in other communities across America. We had so many people, uh, not just from the city of Fort Worth, but people who lived in Mesquite and, and Bedford and Garland. And we talked to council members in Oklahoma. We talked to people in New Orleans and North Carolina, South Carolina. And I did not realize how strongly people felt about dollar stores. We drove through South Arkansas and there was not one grocery store. Every store we saw was a dollar type store. And that is so crazy. Why is this neighborhood not valued? Why is my money not valued? Why is this the best that we can get?